Fighting back tears, Megan Abbas held the last pictures of her brother and his family. He should be here. They should all be here. In January, the family of five was returning home from the holidays when a truck slammed into their car. That driver had a blood alcohol level nearly four times the legal limit. Drunk driving. We will stop it. No family should have to go through this. Florida Republican Senator Rick Scott says the driver should have never been able to get behind the wheel in the first place. Drunk driving is the number one cause of death on America's roadways. Deaths that are 100% preventable. Scott and New Mexico Democrat Tom Udall introduced the RIDE Act to jumpstart research for devices that can determine a driver's blood alcohol level by simply touching the steering wheel or pressing the engine start button. The bill would create a $10 million pilot program for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and automakers to develop and implement the new technology by 2024. So that's about a four-year window for this life-saving technology to be on the road in every new car and truck. Former NHTSA Administrator Joan Claybrook says the technology could save the country as much as $200 billion a year. Uh, you can imagine what we could do with that, those funds that money uh, to advance our society rather than to pick up the pieces. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.